Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here of uh, How to Build Your Character. My name is Kasanis and this is episode 7B. So if you've been following along then you have created an arm, you've created the joint structures needed and you've created an IKFK switch. And I don't believe that I actually demonstrated it in the last episode so we're going to do so right now. If you followed along, then you've created this controller, and watch what happens. This is set to currently set to 1, this value, and that means it's all the way on the FK, which I've got rotated down here. And by moving this in here, and I'll do it nice and slowly so you can see it, you can see it going back and forth. If I go to 0, so this value is now set to 0, it switches back and forth between IK and FK. IK is 0, FK is 1, and that's exactly what we wanted. So that's perfect. Now what we got to do is we actually have to create our IK system. We're going to do that in this first part of the episode, create an IK system. Really easy to do. We have our IK uh, chain right here, our IK uh, joint chain right there. And we're going to create an actual IK on this. And to do so, really easy, open up your outliner. Uh, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go from the, let me open this and find it, uh, from the IK shoulder to the IK wrist. So to do so, go up to your um, skeleton and say IK handle and then choose your IK shoulder and then shift select on the IK wrist just like that and when you do so you'll get this new object oh I did something wrong let me back up one I just did a control delete there we want to make sure when we actually create this I'm gonna do this one more time we're gonna go to skeleton we're gonna go to IK handle and click on the little box make sure that this is in RP solver, okay? RP solver. Not a single change solver or rotation plane solver. That's going to allow us to add in a pole vector. Uh, sorry about that. So once that is selected, you can then select the IK shoulder and then shift select the IK wrist. Boom. And again, if you've done this properly, what's going to happen is you're going to see a circle with a little arrow sticking out the back and you're going to see this thing here appear. That is our actual IK handle, and we're going to change the name right away to IK handle underscore arm underscore left, just so we can identify it later. Now, we're going to have to set up a control for this, and we're doing this exactly the same way we do every other control. Let's get rid of our polygon so we can see it. We're going to create a NURBS primitive, a circle. I am going to uh, upsize this to, let's say, scale 3. That's probably fine. And we're going to change the name of this to CNT underscore uh, arm. Uh, no, let's call it underscore IK arm underscore left. Just like that. And we're going to say edit. And we're going to say group. And we're again going to change this in here to adjustment node, ADJ underscore IK arm underscore left. Now this whole thing has been grouped together and just like we did before we're gonna turn on our little magnet right here boink and we're gonna drag this entire thing up so it is connected to or attached or hovering above the wrist joint. Perfect. Now let's turn off, let's first of all show our polygons and let's so you can see this a little better I'm gonna do that and let's turn off our joints and our IK handles just so we don't accidentally select one of those and you know what I'm gonna do this so we can see through it um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this I'm gonna turn this off first I'm gonna move this guy here by holding the right mouse button and saying control vertices I'm gonna move this guy here into a position that my animator can easily find it and see it I'm the animator and I can easily find it and see it uh, and let's just put this in the middle so let's go orthographic front and turn this on so we can see it. I'm going to move this entire thing out so it's like this and I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle. Uh, just like that. That's that's good. Okay, and then I'm going to click off somewhere else to turn that back on. Now, exactly like before, this thing here is still centered at that position, which is what we want. Okay, everything is looking great. Let me turn off my show polygons and then we're going to show our joints and we're going to show our IK handles again. Now in order to make this control operational, what we've got to do, open my outliner, scroll down, uh, we have our IK arm handle right here with the control underneath it, so it's in a, in a currently in this hierarchy, our control uh, arm is actually under the adjustment node. We're going to select the IK arm handle left and we're going to middle drag it down so it's located in this hierarchy underneath the control arm, just like that. And what that does for us is now whenever we move this control, um, we want, you know what, I'm going to modify this if I can still modify 
for these transformations. Great. Um, now that we've got this in position, I can now select this guy here, and whenever I move him, it's going to move my arm just like that. Exactly the same thing we did with the leg. Great. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Um, great. Now, let me just zero this again. Zero. Doink. Okay, so our control is now back in position. Our arm is where we want it. The next thing we have to do to make this into a usable IK structure is to add a pole vector. And because this is an RP uh, solver, we can add a pole vector. So if for some reason you cannot follow this step, it might be because you created a single chain solver for your IK chain and not an RP solver. Go back to the step back then and redo it. Okay, so let's add our pole vector. Once again, create a NURBS primitive circle just like that. I'm going to rotate this guy uh, 90 degrees in the X like this. 90. I'm going to rename him CNT. Let's call it IK, which is probably unnecessary because it's the only way you can have a pull vector. Let's just call it PV arm underscore left. Just like that. And once again, I'm going to modify freeze my transformations. And I'm going to say edit group. Group right there. Group. And I'm going to rename this group adjustment node underscore PV under uh, arm arm underscore left. And with our magnet on, once again, we're going to drag this entire thing up to the elbow this time, just like that. OK. Turn off my magnet. And the last thing I'm going to do is change this guy here. I'm going to move it out in this. Oops, 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 oops. Control Z, Control Z. I'm going to move this guy here out in this direction. I'm going to move it out minus 10. And I think that is the same thing we did with the knee, but I can't really remember. But minus 10 should be perfectly fine. OK. With this done, I'm going to modify freeze transformations. I am then going to select with my outliner that I keep closing for some strange reason. I'm going to select the IK shoulder and the IK wrist using control, IK wrist. And lastly, I'm going to select the adjustment node we just created, adjustment node uh, PV arm, like that. And I'm going to say constrain, I'm going to say make sure that point is maintain offset is on this time. And I'm going to add it, bang. And what that did is, now whenever I move this guy, the control back there is going to move along with it and maintain its position out front of the elbow, which is what we want. The same thing we did with the knee. Lastly, we're going to set up the actual uh, pole vector for this elbow. And to do so, you're going to select the master, which is this control right here. And you're going to select the slave, which is this control right here. So I'm shift selecting and selecting the IK handle itself. Bang, just like that. And I'm going to say constrain. And I'm going to find pull vector right here. And I'm going to click it. Boom. When you do, you should get a line exactly like this. That points out to it. And now, with this guy, if I move him up and down, watch what happens. It points the elbow. Exactly the same thing we did with the knee. And that's going to allow you to get the shapes that you're looking for. OK. So that's all zeroed out. Perfect. All right, I'm going to take a short intermission here while I switch over. I am using the free version, version of Bandicam. So I have to take a 10 minute break. Or sorry, I have to stop at the 10 minute mark. I'm going to come back and we're going to build the FK control structure next. Talk to you all soon. OK, continuing on, we are going to move on to the FK structure. So um, I have already gone through and built the three controls we're going to be using for the FK structure. I didn't think you guys wanted to see that one more time, so we're going to leave that out. I'm just going to move this out of the way, just like that. Uh, and OK, so that is our IK out of the way. And then I'm going to switch over our control so that it's completely on IK. So the only thing we've got up here right now is our FK. And let us turn off for now our polygons, just like that. All right, where's my outliner? Right here. So I built these three controls. I named each of the three controls. Uh, where did I put him? Um, right here. Adjustment node. Nope, not the adjustment node hand. That's a lie. Not those. This guy, where is he? Right there. Adjustment node shoulder, adjustment node elbow, and adjustment node uh, wrist. And each one of those, same structure as everything else. It has the adjustment node and the controller in the hierarchy. And I'm going to start off with the shoulder. 
here's my shoulder right there and I'm gonna put my snap on and I'm gonna snap it up to bam right there I'm gonna then grab my elbow I'm gonna snap it up to the elbow obviously and then I'm going to grab my wrist and I'm gonna snap it up to my wrist just like that okay so let's take a look at where this is and what we're gonna do let's turn our polygons back on show polygons and we're gonna turn off our our IK and our joints just to make sure we don't select them and yeah just like that okay so you can see that right now my my things don't fit exactly the way I would like them to so I'm going to adjust them I'm gonna take this guy here I'm gonna turn off my snap I'm gonna grab onto that control I'm gonna hit the control vertices like we did before I'm gonna select them and I'm gonna move these into the position that I like so I like it uh, let's say just like that that should be perfectly fine I'm gonna do the same thing for each of these right click and hold select them and move it into position like that on my elbow and the last one this guy hold and right click control vertices select and move it all into position just like that and those should be relatively aligned you guys can take your time and align them properly uh, it might even be easier instead I built the control separately it might even have been easier to um, get one control lined up the way you want it and then afterwards uh, just duplicate them and have them where you'd like to see it let me just move that one a little bit and if, if you really want to make sure they're aligned you could probably go into sh uh, panels orthographic side view and see that yeah, those are pretty well lined up actually look at that bam right on yeah so those are all lined up something like that just go to the side and make sure they're aligned the way you like them okay now with that in place and uh, these guys here are all zeroed out yes they are I already zeroed them make sure that you've modified and zeroed that use your use your uh, modify freeze transformations we're gonna build the actual structure and it's gonna be exactly the same thing we did with the spine so let's take a look at our outliner here it is and we're gonna make sure that the wrist adjustment node grab it and drag it and drop it on the elbow adjustment node just like that okay and we're gonna have to go through that's perfectly fine we're gonna grab the adjustment node elbow and drag it and drop it on the shoulder just like that these should remain zero and they did perfect the last thing we want to do is we're gonna to want to put this entire control system on top of we want it to follow the shoulders down here this this top spine joint so we're gonna to go to our adjustment node shoulder and we're gonna find this guy let's go find out where he is he is adjustment root control we gotta open this all the way up boom 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 adjustment spine 2 on that control is what we want to put it we want to take this entire system the adjustment shoulder this guy we want to drag it and drop it on the control spine just like that now when we turn this that entire thing is going to follow and that's what we're looking for okay perfect control Z what is this thing oh that's my hand control okay that's perfectly fine <laughs> I'm like what's that floating down there because my points my joints are in place okay that's exactly what we want that's perfect when this guy here turns it's going to turn that and that's what we were looking for now the last thing we're gonna do uh, let's go show polygons show joints and show well we don't even need RIK the last thing we're gonna do is make sure that these joints are following the orientation of these dudes here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this as my master I'm gonna select my shoulder joint for my FK and I'm gonna say constrain orient make sure the maintain offset is on I mean these should all be zeroed so it shouldn't really matter but make sure that it's on and say add bang and you're gonna do that for each one of them I'm gonna then select this guy oh sorry this one my master and then my slave constrain orient and last time this guy my master this guy the master this guy the slave and say constrain orient just like that so now these guys here are all zeroed so if we look and see what we've done with all these things zeroed if I actually bend this now we've got a moving working arm so that's exactly what we want so let's take a look now what will happen with this guy bent like this in some orientation it doesn't really matter why let's let's put it like that if we actually do our IKFK switch now if we do this you're gonna see it bend the actual bind skeleton will bend into whatever thing we've got perfect that's exactly what we want 
let's zero it our controls. Let's make this in zero. So it'll pop back to where we want it. And this is exactly why you always put you why you always animate controls as opposed to bones, because you can zero these controls out. And that's very important for an animator. And we will zero that out. So everything is now in position with this guy here. Sometimes we'll snap funny, so we're just gonna uh, oops. I'm just gonna do this and we're gonna dodge this guy here a little tiny bit to make sure that our joint pops into place. And we'll zero that. Okay, perfect. So that arm is done. There's one last thing to do, and then we're pretty much done our, our uh, rig. There's a few more things we're going to have to add. I'm going to have to teach you how to skin and that kind of stuff as well, but there's one last thing we're going to add, and I should have built this, but I didn't because I forgot and I'm stupid. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build, create, we're going to build a another circle, and we're going to rotate it, boom, uh, 90 degrees. We're going to call this thing here cnt underscore uh, clavicle underscore left and you know what I'm gonna make this look a little different because we might get confused I'm gonna grab this control vertice I'm gonna just stretch maybe just stretch this one up just so we can see it slightly different like that maybe even like this that'll be our clavicle control that looks like a clavicle control doesn't it okay and we're gonna select the whole thing object mode boom Edit group, change this thing here to CNT. Oh, no, sorry, adjustment node clavicle. I got a little girl crying in the background. I hope you can't hear her. clavicle, just like that. And these guys here all together. Make sure this thing is zeroed, it still is. And with that selected, our snap back on, boom. And we're going to drag it up to the clavicle bone. I'm sure you guessed it. Clavicle bone right there, like that. Let's turn on our show polygons so that doesn't stick out at all so what we're going to do is we're going to drag this thing up so we can see it uh, let's turn our things off for now polygons we're going to turn off our show joints and we're going to turn this off as well click on your clavicle control hold down this control vertices grab them all just like that turn our show polygons back on and let's just drag this up to where we can see it I'm going to put it just like this. That should be perfectly fine right there. And click away. And that is going to be our clavicle control. You're going to want to go through and make sure you change these colors. I'll, maybe I'll show you how to do that a little later on. Last but not least, show joints, show polygons. And what we're going to do is we are going to, um, what we're going to do is we're going to control. First of all, we're going to make sure that this thing is following. Now that clavicle will follow this. So we're going to take that entire thing in our outliner boom we're gonna find our clavicle and we're gonna drop it off once again under our control spine 2 control right there just like that so we can see as we move it as we rotate this we can see that it follows which is exactly what we want and the last thing we're gonna do we have 30 seconds left is we're gonna say this guy's master this guy here is slave and we're gonna say constrain point, maintain offset, add, and now whenever we move this guy, we translate it up and down, we've got a clavicle moving as well. Okay, everybody, that brings us to the end of this episode, episode 7B. I hope you enjoyed it. And when we come back, we're going to work on skinning. Everything here is done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and make sure you comment. Have a great day.